This is Douglas Dennis, the Alkaline Life Coach, and this is the Alkaline Vegan Podcast number 13. We're talking about a full routine, a healthy, successful routine for health and wealth, for making money and for feeling better. Most daily routines on YouTube talk about success and making money only. This one is for health and wealth because I believe what's the use of having a lot of money and or wealth if you don't have health, if you're sick or can't enjoy. So thank you for tuning in. We're going to go through an entire routine. I have this all laid out in front of me. So stick around to the end because the last things in the day, right before you go to sleep, are very important, definitely, and can have a big impact on your life. So there have been a lot of studies on that for sure, so stick around. All right, let's get right into the list. Now, thank you for the thumbs up, by the way. I appreciate that. So while you're doing this entire daily routine, you want to keep in mind to drink plenty of spring water. So, oh, another thumbs up. Thank you again. Awesome. I appreciate. Um, the first thing I have when you wake up is to, hello, Ingris. The first thing when you wake up, and this is just an example. So some people have a job, some people work at home, some people don't work at all. So, um, I have different options to where you can flex this into your own life, um, but definitely plenty of water. And the first thing you wake up after you brush your teeth or clean your mouth, you want to drink 20 ounce or a tall glass of water, and it should not be ice cold. It should be warm or room temperature. And that is going to set you off on the right track because when you sleep, you lose a lot of water. You know how, especially back when I was unhealthy years ago, when you wake up, you can't really move. Your joints feel like, uh, like arthritis. Even when I was in my 20s, uh, when I was sick, I was having crazy arthritis and that was terrible anyway. So drink, when you first wake up, drink spring water and that gets you started in the right track. Remember, we're electric. We have a circuit basically of energy and water conducts electricity. So that will get you boosted energy even though it doesn't have any calories. It's still very important, way more important than calories in fact. Okay, so let's go to the next thing. When you're in the bathroom brushing your teeth or going to the bathroom first thing in the morning, affirmations in the bathroom, either on your mirror or anywhere, hung up on, uh, in front of the toilet, on the mirror, on the sink, doesn't matter as long as you can grab it or look at it and read it easily. So that's the point. You want to be able to, you're not just glancing at it, you want to read each and every one first thing in the morning. This is your psychological weapon against the haters. <laughs> well, this is really going to give you an edge for everything you do. It's not just, uh, not just for the haters. So affirmations, affirmations, affirmations. This sounds like an easy thing to skip. Don't skip this one. It can have a huge result and it's free. Just because you don't pay for it, don't take it for granted. Um, that's something that we're programmed to do as humans. To uh, The more we pay for something sometimes, this is, a, this is a psychological principle that most people are following. And for the most part, it is true. The more you pay, the better the thing is. Often that is the case, but not always. So make sure even though some of this is free to do, don't look over it just because it's free. And 
really let that sink in. Okay, so the next thing, after you've done your affirmations, after you have uh, cleaned your mouth, which I've been brushing in the mornings, and I'll tell what I've been doing in the evenings at the end. And then, let's see, next thing. Now, this is a flexible period when, right when you woke up, and you've already taken care of business and done your affirmations, now you want to continue hydrating, but this is when you can start working or meditate or do the breathing technique that I talk about. First thing, um, you know, after you can meditate for a little bit and then start working, you can do the breathing technique and then start working. You can do the breathing technique and then meditate. Depending if you, if you don't have to work that day, if this is a day off, then you can take longer to meditate or if this is a day where you have a lot of work to do, you can take longer to work. And I have the next thing on the list, juicing. Now, I drink a lot of water and tea Actually, tea. Can't forget tea. I forgot it on my list. So, tea after I've... So, first thing was to drink spring water. Then the affirmations and bathroom and everything like that. Now I start making tea. So, right now I have sarsaparilla tea uh, as usual. And I usually start brewing that... Um, you know, before I, hours before eating anything. And so then you can have a hot thing of tea while if you can study or, and read something. Oh, I have a new book here. Just came in the mail, check this out. I haven't gotten into it yet. This one is a lot more thin than the one I got the other day. <laughs> This one was 600 pages. This one is not so much. But I got two books on, hmm, I wonder. So that's a good opportunity when your mind is waking up to read something that directly can be applied to your work. So if you're, you know, depending on what industry you're in, don't just read some BS nonsense just to read. Read something that is going to impact your life or your career. And it shouldn't be any fringe nonsense. It should be directly related to what you're working on. This is going to give you an edge. Um, definitely. Now, the next thing on the list I have is to juice. Now, it's been, you know, a few hours after waking up at this point, eh, maybe a couple hours or so. Now I start wanting something like um, taking uh, some supplements and making some fresh juice. Oh man, my favorite has been cantaloupe. If it's ripe, it's really good. I know some people hate cantaloupe. I used to before I knew how to tell if it was ripe. But uh, anything, you can juice anything from the list. If you don't have the list, there's links in the description and to various resources. So let's see. Next thing, you've got your juice power up. And I would probably take my first supplements right then, um, usually. Someone said, Stribe's Vision said, how can you tell if it's ripe? Okay, I have some cantaloupe over there. I would get up and get it. But basically, there are two ends. There's like a round hole, like a round shape at the ends. One of them is the stem. One of them is the opposite of the stem. The opposite of the stem, you can push with your thumb, and if it's, like, if it squishes at all, it's starting to get ripe. If your thumb goes into it, it's overripe. Um, 
but really it's right before it starts to go bad. So right before it starts molding or getting bad spots, that's when it's ripe. You might lose a couple accidentally, but once you figure it out, once you get the ripe ones, you, it's pretty easy. Um, and oh man, ripe is more alkaline and tastes better. So double thumbs up. Good, great question. Thank you for asking that. Okay, next thing I have on the list is now this is this is different depending on if it's a work day, if it's a, not a work day. Thank you for asking. Um, read, take a walk, work. You know, if you're working, then you get back to work. If you're not working, then uh, or you can take a break to read something that's going to help you with your work. Uh, taking a walk can be good to refresh your brain. Depending on how much time you have, you can take a five minute walk. If you have a lot more time, if, then you can take an hour walk. So this is flexible for you know how much work you have to do. If you work for yourself, you know this is the whole schedule. It's difficult working for yourself. If you have a boss, then they told you what to do, and they probably you don't have an opportunity to decide your schedule, which is a shame. And thankfully, that's thankfully I don't have a boss. The customers are the boss. So next thing, now we're getting through the day, you know, depending on how long your work session was. You can take a bath, hot bath or cold ba uh, ice bath. I have videos about ice baths if you're curious. Um, sauna, if only they were open or if I had my own, which I will in the future. Oh yeah, I can't wait for that. Now, if you're in a, if you're taking a bath, have plenty of tea or water. And that is throughout this. Now, you could juice again right before the bath and have juice. Um, but what I'm saying is don't bath or sauna without a tall hydrate liquid, spring water or fresh juice. And when I say juice, I mean fresh juice that you made yourself, not not some garbage in a plastic bottle from a store that juiced it a year ago and then it <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. That's different. That's not included. So bath or sauna with plenty of water. You can work in the bath. I work in the bath. You can um, take a seminar or read or um, write, listen to an audiobook. Now, like I said before, don't just listen to audiobooks just to be pseudo productive, like, ooh, I'm reading, that means I'm getting rich. Not, that's not how it works. When you're reading something, um, it's, it's something that you can apply to your life or your work. Like, for example, these books on mushrooms, I'm not going to read this for fun. This is to look up a specific thing and like it's a clinical guide or of some kind. And I'm not a medical doctor or anything, but I read stuff like this um, to make better videos, hopefully. That being said, I'm not a mushroom expert either, but I'm reading, I'm getting books like this because it's, I, for myself, I forage mushrooms for myself and I take mushroom supplements for myself. I'm not recommending it or anything to anyone medically. It's not a medication anyway, so don't get it mistaken. Um, Next thing on the list, after your bath or sauna is a perfect time to stretch. You can do the breathing technique right before the bath if you're doing a cold bath. 
You can do the breathing after. Um, sometimes it's better to like if you just got out of a hot bath, you're not want to do going to want to do that breathing because you're already going to be like completely oxygenated and like almost fainting from a hot bath. From an ice bath, it has the opposite effect. You'll be sharp and energetic and ready to rock and ready to go right back to work. So depending on if you're going to take a hot bath or an ice bath, depends on what you are doing next. But both of them are good for your health in different ways. Uh, there are studies out there you can uh, look up. But after a hot bath I, is a good time to do stretching. I have stretching videos on this channel because you're already warmed up and it's important when you're going to do a stretching routine to be really warmed up, especially in the winter. And it's snowing today where I am and it's April. So, ha 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 ha. So anyway, even not in the winter, it's important to warm up before stretching. If you live in the tropics, good for you, lucky you. <laughs> That's great for stretching. Uh, if it's hot and humid, then it's good for stretching. So if you just took a cold bath, then you would want to do a, a warm up like the breathing technique before stretching so that you're warm and not stretching cold muscles because you could get hurt. I've been injured stretching. I know it's ridiculous, but yeah, I've been I've been injured uh, when I was younger a lot, not recently, thankfully. Uh, purposefully, I've been very careful about my health, as you can tell, for the last few years, because that's all I've been talking about. Okay, next thing on the list. If you're working, get back to work. Um, now it's probably getting into the evening where you can... This is when I've been eating. So in the daytime, I've just been juicing or just having tea. Today I didn't even have juice yet. And it's 6 o'clock p.m. So I would rather have had it, but um, I was working and the juicer wasn't clean. And I have... <laughs> I'm in the middle of a new business deal at the moment, so I will tell you about that in my Patreon only, but that's secret at the moment, but maybe we'll... I plan on making a documentary about it in the future, uh, whether it is successful or not, it'll be a good show, hopefully. I think so. So stay tuned for that. Um, so then in the evening time, eating, this is when I've been recently eating once a day, most days, and juicing the rest of the time. But a few weeks ago, I was just juicing for a couple weeks and not eating. And then a few weeks before that, I was eating a lot. So for me, I'm just letting, I detoxed years ago, hardcore, well, I detoxed very well, very thoroughly, um, a few years ago, and then, so now I'm not in the middle of a detox or anything like that. If you're in the middle of a cleanse or a or detoxing, then you shouldn't be eating solid food and skip this part. <laughs> juice again, insert juicing here. Also, more tea, more water throughout the whole thing, you know? several cups of tea. I have videos about tea, uh, the types that I have been drinking. Uh, that's in other videos, check them out. And let's see, now next thing after you're winding down, relax, study, reflect, affirmations are good, and this is when everyone else is watching TV and stuff like that. I find that a good time to work more. Now, that's if you're wanting to be successful, m work again until, uh, and this can go until 2 a.m. or so. Um, 
then when you're winding down from that, when you're enough is enough or when you finished what you were doing or when you're dropping over from working, then um, cleaning out the uh, mouth. You can clean it, you can rinse your mouth with uh, salt water or peroxide is not natural, but it's better than any kind of garbage mouthwash and it's like 50 cents. But you can rinse your mouth with either salt water or something to clean it out and then you can do oil pulling, which is uh, coconut oil or sesame oil, virgin sesame oil, and you can drip, um, optionally you can drip a couple drops of clove oil, essential oil, and that should be the kind, uh, not all essential oils are able to be put in your mouth, so make sure it's not just for the aromatherapy or something like that. You'll have to make sure it's good quality, pure and everything like that. And don't just trust it if it says pure as the name, because that they could use the name pure as the marketing. Um, but anyway, you can, in a tablespoon, you can drip a couple drops of that. It's too strong to use by itself. Um, or you can just use coconut oil, organic, and it should be, let's see, there's a certain type. Coconut oil, there's several different types. So um, I think the extra virgin one is the best for doing the oil pulling or sesame oil. And then before you go to sleep is the time to do the affirmations again. And your affirmations should be worded in the present tense so that you can visualize. And if you want more info on this, I talked a lot about it yesterday in the business ideas, I think, or what were we talking about? <laughs> I've been going live five days a week. So there's a lot of recent episodes. If you're new tuning in, definitely check out some of the recent videos have been really good live. And the affirmations are important right before you go to sleep. If you find yourself drifting away into imagining something undesirable, then also when you pray, if you pray before going to sleep, don't pray for something you don't have like you want it. Pray for it as if you already got it and then you're being thankful for it. That is a very different distinction um, I've been studying psychology for a long time, so that little tweak there could give you a really different result. Praying for something like, I want, I want, is a different, going to get you a different result than praying, thanks, thank you, thank you, I'm grateful. So when you are praying or when you have your affirmations, they should be from the position of gratitude. So if you feel bad while you're saying them, you're doing it wrong and you're not going to get that desired result. So this is the key to doing them before you fall asleep. That way, while you're drifting off, your subconscious mind is the most open and receptive. And this is the way to reprogram we were talking about uh, yeah, we were talking about reprogramming yesterday. So this is one of the key times of the day to influence yourself the most is right when you're drifting off to sleep. So some people even record themselves saying their own, uh, their own affirmations audio and then loop, make it into a loop audio file and loop it while they're falling asleep and while they're sleeping. That type of pe people really understand the power of the subconscious mind. And I have a, there's a book on my bookshelf called The Power of the Subconscious Mind, and it's a really good book. So 
I hope that helps. What do you think? Which part of this do you uh, think helped you the most? And what is your most difficult part of your daily routine that you need help with? Comment below. So I just went through every single thing on my list. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve different things. I am, I'm done with the list of twelve different things. So let me know in the comments what your feedback is and if you have any questions. Now is the time. I will turn it over to Q&A. And I will take a sip of sarsaparilla tea. If you missed the list, you can watch the replay of this uh, when we end it. I will leave it up on YouTube for now and then you can check it from the beginning. But for now, let me know what you think in the comments and what part of your routine you need the most help with or which part of this video was the most helpful for you. That was too strong. That was like taking a sarsaparilla shot. Wow. Powerful. Too, I let, left it brewing too long. I need to <laughs> dilute that. All right, well, I will wait for your questions. I know that there's a little bit of a lag, but I already got through everything that I wanted to talk about, so let me know what you think in the comments, and I will answer your questions or respond to your feedback now. Mugabo22 said, I just started watching and haven't watched the whole live. All right, well, welcome. And are, if you're new to the channel, good to see you. Thank you for commenting. It helps the... Okay, Mugabo22 asked, what is your most recommended herb? I love sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla, awesome. Let's see, my most recommended would be, well, I would recommend the seaweeds more if you're taking sea moss already. Um, but, and I know mushrooms aren't necessarily an herb, but I just got these two books. This one's 600 pages of, man, I flipped this open and it started blowing my mind right away. This is an amazing one. Wow. There's so much in here. Um, not what I expected, but wow. Very, 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 very happy with this one. And this one is about uh, medicinal mushrooms. And I haven't started reading it yet, but it's more thin. So there's a lot of very interesting um, info in here where... Um, they're, they're talking about all the different clinical trials that have been done on uh, different mushrooms. And so I'll be talking a lot more about this this year, and I'll be doing more mushroom hunting videos like I did last year. Once it stops snowing, well, there probably are mushrooms right now in the snow, but... Sarsaparilla, sarsaparilla, sarsaparilla is one of my favorites. Um, I have so many that... I have so many uh, in stocked up here that I can't even pick, but I think that's the one I have. Well, let's see. Hemp is my favorite herb. Let's say that. Hemp is, there's so many different things. The seeds, the fibers, the oil. Um, that's a really useful one all around. Yeah, if I had to pick one, definitely. If I had to pick two, I would say seaweed. And then if I had to just, I would lump, lump the different wild mushrooms. But there's so many different types 
thousands and I, I barely know anything about them because there are just thousands of different types. So probably it'll take my whole life <laughs> learning more about them. Great, thank you. Well, thank you for tuning in. And anyone else with any questions, now is a good time. I will take a few more minutes and leave it open for questioning. And I will just turn my camera down a little. Oops. Bear with me and then I can lean back. Oh, maybe that was too far. All right, so any questions? Now's a good time. I already uh, went live for 30 minutes talking about the different things that I was mentioning in the title. The entire routine and really just work your butt off. That's the routine. No, I mean, a lot of people are not productive when they work. Just because they're busy doesn't mean they're productive. So what, uh, here's another good quote from, I don't know who this one is from. What gets measured gets accomplished. So if you're not measuring the progress, and some things are difficult to measure, but if you're not measuring the progress, then what are you even doing? <laughs> it's hard to say if you, hit, if you hit your goal or if you didn't because there's no measurement. Okay, Ingris said, because I wasn't feeling well, it was hard to get the start for the breathing. But after I started, it's great. I don't think I'll stop it. Unable to connect. The screen froze and I was making the most ridiculous face I've ever seen. I lost my connection. I don't know what, the internet. That's weird. Um, I'm supposedly getting ridiculous high internet speed, but I don't try. The internet provider is full of you know what. I don't believe it for one second. We're paying for like th the highest speed you can get. So how is it having a hard time connecting? Selena laughs. Are you laughing at that face I was making? It was like, you know, right when you're in the middle of saying a word and yeah, that was embarrassing. <laughs> Why doesn't it freeze when I'm, we pay so much for what? Smack my head, said Selena, exactly. Uh, they, they almost have a monopoly over the internet. What is the internet anyway? Uh, waves, airwaves, and they're selling it to us? Ridiculous. Well, I appreciate you tuning in and I appreciate everyone sticking around even after it froze. I was reacting to Ingris was saying it was hard for her to get into the breathing, but when she finally did it, it was great. That's awesome. But, uh, thank you for that feedback for anyone else that might also be having a hard time. Great, and I'm glad to hear that it helped you. Yeah, that's a really powerful one that's free and um, it can get a powerful result, especially in addition to all the other things um, that we talk about on this channel. So thank you everyone for tuning in. Thank you for commenting. I know some of you are shy and are commenting anyway. I appreciate you. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm to comment. When you comment and hit a uh, thumbs up and share really helps because they won't show it to anyone if nobody uh, engages. So I appreciate every one of you
for sure. And I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers. Wow. Coming soon, the next few days maybe, maybe in like next week or the week after. Oh, thank you, someone else gave me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And right now, this channel is not making money. So it makes a little bit here and there, but it isn't, you know, profit. It's just kind of to keep it, trying to keep it going. So, um, awesome, thank you. And uh, the channel should be monetized, if all goes well, sometime this summer. And then I'll have some more, I don't, who knows how much it's gonna pay. It might be 20 bucks a month, I don't even know. Hopefully hundreds, may, I probably, I don't know if it'll be thousands in the very first few months I have no idea so the first one I plan to do a giveaway and to give away the monthly pay to do it the the YouTube but right we're not even there yet so I'm just uh, thinking into the future visualizing visualizing the giveaway that one of you will be winning and uh, I can That'll be fun, but um, once I monetize the channel, there'll be, you know, a little bit, I'll still probably run it like a non-profit and just put, put it all back into it and just experiment with some, I have a hair on me or something, sorry. I'm like touching my face on video. Something's on me, a spider web. It's still happening. Okay, anyway, <laughs> you're probably wondering, if, if uh, someone was watching that on mute, they're probably wondering if I'm having some kind of a fit. Ingris said the pain, her pain is less now after the breathing exercise. Yeah, exactly. And the more you do it, the more you practice it, you can actually, like, pinpoint the areas of your body that need it and you can like send the healing there if that makes sense I know that sounds crazy but there are scientific studies that are studying that in the last several years and they have proven amazing things with that so it has been studied and proven it's not just some weird thing it is real definitely um, definitely check that out so that's part of the program for sure. All right, well, I'm gonna wrap it up unless someone has any more questions. Thank you so much for everyone, all the new subscribers, I appreciate you, all the new people. Um, most of the comments are really, really positive and people are really appreciating the recipes and it makes me feel really happy um, I have oh, like 75 recipes from last year and man, I pumped them out. Um, I don't know even how I was doing that actually. Um, I'm just trying to outdo it this year actually and it's challenging because I did a lot last year. Um, I know why is because uh, I didn't have the the deal that I'm working on right now, and uh, right now I'm writing a book, and I have a startup that is only available is only talked about on my Patreon. And let's see, I'm writing a book. I have a startup, and I'm doing a second deal that is related to that other startup, and. Um, I plan on having a cookbook at the at some point this year. That will be easier than the book that I'm writing, definitely. But uh, I have about 60 pages written in my book. That's quite a lot. Um, it's probably going to be about 200 pages, maybe less. So I don't know. You know, I've never sold a book. 
I don't think it's a good business idea to sell a book, but I'm just, I'm doing it to stay uh, sane and stay productive. And I think that, um, you know, I want to do more art and uh, I'm an artist and a musician. So, you know, writing and stuff like that is more what I'm good at. So in the future, hopefully, if I, uh, when, when all these things that I have going on start sprouting fruits, literally and figuratively, um, I will do more art and, and uh, do less of um, the stuff I was doing. <laughs> And if I can, if I can just invest and do art, then two thumbs up. That's the ultimate goal, isn't it? <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see. And I plan on doing some live events so that we can touch base in real life. Um, and also, if people that have been thinking about joining my program, um, I have a 12-week transformation program if you're trying to go alkaline and need help or having a hard time. Um, I have that and it's only, I don't accept everyone. It's only for people who are really need it and are really ready for it. And um, I might not be doing that one-on-one -on -one coaching in the future. So I'm already starting to see how something's going to give if I'm too busy in 2022. I doubt I'll be doing that um, the same way. I'll probably just make it into a group thing or whatever. So if you want one-on-one -on -one business or health uh coaching then better reach out this year and actually soon because uh i have gotten some more clients recently and i'm in, i'm filling up so because it's not the only thing i have going on i can't you know uh i don't have an unlimited amount of time so but anyway for now it's good and if you're already in the program, which some of you are, um, keep rocking forward and reach out if you need anything. So I will end it here. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Ingris. Thank you, Selena. Thank you, Magabo. Thank you, Stribes of Vision. I appreciate everyone. Appreciate your thumbs up. I appreciate your watching. And if you have any ideas for the Alkaline Vegan podcast, this was episode number 13. And I'm going to do the next one on Sunday. Right now, they've been Sunday through Thursday at 5.30 Eastern Time, p.m. Eastern Time. So tune in on it. And it should be right around there. Um... We'll keep going with it as long as I can keep having you thumbsing it up. <laughs> as long as you like it, then I'll keep doing it. Um, at least f I'm going to try to do it for the rest of the year. We'll see. We're still early in the year. It's uh, been five days a week. But when I start coming with the more recipe videos, I'm not sure if I can do them all at once. Um, we'll definitely try to keep them up at five days a week, at least. Maybe we'll be able to step it up to seven days a week videos. If we can, for sh we, we will. So thank you so much, everyone, for the support. And we'll see you, uh, let's see, see you Sunday at 5.30 Eastern that should be the next one or right around then should be maybe give or take. Um, if it's a topic I think is going to take extra long, I might jump on a little bit early or a little bit after. So 
but I'll try to keep it at that point for right now because I think that seems to be a decent time. Well, it seems like a little later would be better, but this is about my cutoff time. So, thank you so much for watching. Thank you again. And we uh, look forward to the giveaway sometime this summer. Um, and I have almost 2,000 subscribers. We're just about to hit it in the next week or so. Thank you so much for that. And we'll see if we can do something um, for that just to make it fun. But until then, I'll see you in the next one. And the next live is going to be Sunday, so make sure to hit the bell when you subscribe so that you get a notification when I go live. And I've been going live several times a week. Selena said, may God bless your channel. Thank you so much. I have the best subscribers uh, ever. So everyone is so positive and so um, supportive. Almost everyone. And definitely all the subscribers for sure. So I'm so, I appreciate it so much. Wow, it's really, um, I used to be pessimistic about how bad people are and everything when I was younger. But it was just, you know, it depends on your vibration to some degree. The, the law of vibration, the law of sympathetic resonance. That's a really big word, but it, re it just means that you attract the same type of feeling as you put out. So I must have changed my life. Definitely, I can see the result because there's a different type of people that are reaching out, different type of people commenting. Um, I really appreciate that. It's great vibe. I know that's a, a hippie word for it. But thank you again for the millionth time. <laughs> and we'll be back Sunday. So I'll see you then. And try to tune in live because it is a lot of fun when we get to do the back and forth through the comments. But if you are seeing this in the replay, thank you for watching this anytime. I appreciate that. So have an amazing day on purpose. Peace.